Now let's make targeted and editable changes to the exposure of our image. Now when we made changes using the tools up here in our image menu for adjustments, all of the changes that we made were global changes to the composite of our entire image. Meaning if we had any other layers in our content, those changes would have affected all of our layers equally. Now, in many cases, that's exactly what you want, but there are many times when you'll only want to make selective adjustments to a single layer or have the option of revisiting your changes as you work through your image correction process. And that's where adjustment layers come into play. Now, once again, we have our underexposed desert plants image, and this time let's start off by correcting the exposure by clicking on the adjustment layer icon down here in the bottom of our layers panel. And notice that most all of those same options that we had in our image menu are all here as well. Let's start off by adding an exposure adjustment layer. Now this time, instead of a free floating window, the tool opens up inside of our properties panel and a new adjustment layer is added and auto linked to our desert plants layer. Now let's enter a value of plus four into the exposure to give this image a boost. Then let's add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer, but this time select the adjustments panel and here's another way to add all of your adjustment layers. Select the brightness and contrast icon and a new adjustment layer is automatically added for you and linked as before and we're once again taken to our properties panel. This time I'll click inside the brightness field, type in 30, then press the tab key to jump down to the contrast field and enter in minus 5. And when we made our adjustments in the last movie, it was clear which adjustments were applied in which order, because each time we clicked OK to close an adjustment window, those changes were applied. But with adjustment layers, they will be applied in the order in which they appear in your layer stack. So I'll drag my brightness and contrast adjustment layer underneath of my exposure layer so that they're applied in this order. To add a new layer to the bottom of the stack, select your base layer and then add your next adjustment layer. Let's add a vibrancy adjustment layer by going back to adjustments and clicking on its icon. Now set both of these options up to plus 42 to really punch up the colors in the image. Now another difference in this method of adjusting your image is that you can now go back and click on one of these other layers, such as our exposure layer, and the properties panel retains all of the changes that you've made. You can also make additional adjustments. Here I'll boost my exposure up by another half stop to 4.5. And because each of these adjustments is on its own layer, you can also adjust things to each of these options, such as the opacity, fill, and the blend mode to create even more controlled adjustments to your image.